Hi, I'm Darcel Lobo and I own Dow Law Firm in Normandy Park and here to talk to you today about avoiding foreclosure. And if you're struggling to make your mortgage payments, you know, foreclosure is one of those things that are in the future and you're worried about and stressed about and maybe you're not sure where to go to get help, how to get help. And so I wanted to go over what a few options may be for you. Now, when it comes to being past due on your mortgage, right now with the COVID pandemic, there are options available for homeowners to work directly with their mortgage lender to obtain what's called a forbearance, where you put your payments on hold. And many times they will work with you and put whatever the past due balance is, put that on the back end of the loan to give you that immediate relief that you may need if you, you know, lost income or had other issues related to COVID. So my first piece of advice, if you are past due on your mortgage and aren't sure where to go, is to reach out to your mortgage company to see what options may be available. Again, most commonly right now, I'm seeing forbearances. There could be repayment plans to get caught up on the past due and also loan modifications where you apply based on a financial hardship for them to essentially recalculate your loan, maybe bring down your interest rate, extend your term out longer to make the payments more affordable for you and allow you to stay in your home. So you certainly want to reach out to your mortgage company and communicate with them if you are having a financial hardship and unable to make your mortgage payments, whether you're just a month or two behind or if you're six months or more behind, certainly reach out to your mortgage company. Now, if you have done so and you have exhausted options and you're still unable to avoid foreclosure, there are some other options and that might be where you want to see an attorney to figure out what those options are and to have them help guide you through that process. Um, most commonly in my office, I help clients with Chapter 13 bankruptcy, where we're using Chapter 13 bankruptcy, which is a five-year plan, well, three to five-year plan, to maybe get caught up on your past due arrears or give you time to work on a loan modification, give you time to work on a forbearance. If you are facing an imminent foreclosure, sometimes a Chapter 13 bankruptcy might be the only option available to you to stop that foreclosure or at least put it on pause while we go back to the lender in your bankruptcy to work with them to make the home affordable for you to be able to keep your home for you and your family. Now, there are some occasions with some clients where keeping the home is simply not an option. Um, we've exhausted all the other options. We worked the lender. We looked at bankruptcy. And for sometimes for some clients, keeping the home is just not the best option for them. So depending on where you are in regards to having equity in the home, if you have equity in the home, then we can do a, tr a traditional sale and sell the home, pay off the mortgage, and then use your proceeds to help cover your living expenses, pay off debts, or, or other things. If you are in a situation where you are upside down on your mortgage, where maybe you owe more on the mortgage than the home is worth, then we have some other options where you are letting the home go, um, but you're still avoiding foreclosure. Most commonly, that's going to be either a short sale or a deed in lieu of foreclosure. A short sale is where you sell your home for less than what you owe on it. The mortgage company has to agree with the sale of the home at the price that you found the buyer for. So there is a negotiation there that happens with the mortgage company to accept less than what's due and to sell the home. The other option with the deed in lieu of foreclosure is essentially a voluntary repossession where you're giving the home back to the bank and they are usually forgiving the amount that's owing on that loan, even if you are upside down on the home. But for a short sale and deed in lieu, that's generally only if you are upside down, again, meaning that you do not have any equity in the home and you owe more on the home than the home is worth. If you have equity in the home, but we're not keeping the home, then a traditional sale to just pay the mortgage off is the option you'd probably be looking at. If you wanna keep the home, and you are past due on your mortgage, know that you do have options. Working with the lender or having an attorney assist you to evaluate what your options are is going to be the best course of action for you, but you want to do so sooner rather than later. The longer that you wait, 
the bigger the past due balance is, and that can mean that sometimes options that you would have had early on are no longer available to you. So it's important that you give an attorney a call if you need help. Feel free to give us a call or a text. We're here to help you. Our number is 206-408-8158. Thank you.